Hey, hey, and welcome back to Miss Kitty's Wild West Adventures. Today, we'll be talking about a topic that is taboo even today, but one town in the Wild West actually erected a monument to it. Stay tuned for more. They say prostitution is the oldest profession in the world. In fact, Wild West Towns had the requisite four buildings, a church, a saloon, a jail, for when things got out of hand at the church, and a brothel. Old West Towns often had the madams of such brothels to thank for such civic contributions as funding the construction of a school or a church, all behind the scenes, of course. But Lusk, Wyoming took their appreciation to another level as they have the distinction of being the only town to have a monument to a sex worker. I'm going to take you back to 1876. Lusk, Wyoming was a town along the Cheyenne Deadwood stage route. Home to cowboys and buffalo hunters, it also became a refuge for thieves and killers too. In 1876, a woman arrived in Lusk and promptly saw the need for a house of ill repute. Not much was known about the woman at the time, except that she always rode through town on a horse, not side saddle, as ladies were prone to do, but the cowboy way with one leg on either side. She did this all while wearing long red lacy bloomers which fluttered in the wind, giving her the nickname Mother Featherlegs. In addition to servicing their carnal needs, Mother Featherlegs often opened her home as a refuge for those thieves and killers being chased by the law. In addition, she often hid the gold and jewels that they had stolen or otherwise obtained through nefarious means. One such bandit was a man named Dangerous Dick Davis, AKA the Terrapin, who had arrived in Lusk around the same time as Mother Featherlegs in 1879, a neighbor lady came by to visit Featherlegs and found her lifeless body near a stream by her home. She had been shot days earlier. Shoe prints at the scene of the crime, along with the fact that gold and jewelry was missing, along with Dangerous Dick, led many to suspect that Dangerous Dick Davis had been her killer. Featherlegs was buried near the site where they found her body and years later, they caught up with Dangerous Dick in Louisiana, and he was tried for her murder and hung. Before he died, he revealed that her name was actually Charlotte Shepard, and that she and Dangerous Dick had run in the same gang of renegades in Louisiana back in the day. Her sons, Tom and Bill, had both been killed along with everyone else in the gang, except for herself and Dangerous Dick. That's when she had made her way to Wyoming. He also admitted to killing her and stealing some $1,500 in gold and jewels that she had hidden. But he admitted that he believed there was much more hidden around her home. In 1893, a pair of schoolboys were out treasure hunting near the Featherlegs homestead. When they unearthed to their shock and horror, a pine box containing the mortal remains of Mother Featherlegs. Needless to say, they stopped their treasure hunting, promptly reburied her, and brought a stone to mark the location of her grave. Years later, in 1964, Mother Featherlegs was finally given a proper funeral when a red granite marker, complete with her ill-fated story, was placed at her grave. One of the schoolboys who had found her grave some 71 years earlier was in attendance. They say that a fortune in gold and jewels is still buried just outside of Lusk, Wyoming. Maybe one day a treasure hunter will find it. Maybe it will be one of you. Just don't go digging near the red granite marker to Mother Featherlegs. Hey, if prostitution really is the oldest profession in the world, how did the men who paid for those services make their money. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. 
We hope you enjoyed this episode of Miss Kitty's Wild West Adventures. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Miss Kitty's Wild West Adventures. And don't forget to tell your friends. In the meantime, I'll catch you on down the trail.